Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rostermouse key skill video on listing combined outcomes using a sample space. So let's look at this first question here. Priya throws two four-sided dice numbered one to four and adds the numbers on the two dice. Complete the sample space diagram. Now what do we mean by this term sample space diagram? Well simply put, a sample space is just a list of all possible outcomes. Now in these two particular questions here, we've actually got two combined outcomes. We're throwing two dice and we're adding the numbers on those two dice. So we want the combined outcomes. We're somehow taking those two outcomes and combining them some way and looking at all the possible combined outcomes. And that's what the sample space diagram allows us to do. So here we've got the first dice numbered one, two, three, four, because it said it's a four-sided dice. And we've got the second dice numbered one, two, three, four. And we're told we're adding those numbers together. So I might put a little add here to remind us that we're adding the outcomes from dice one and dice two. So let's just say we threw a one on the first dice and a one on the second dice, and we added the outcomes together. What would we get? We would get two. So I'm going to put the two where we're adding the one from the first dice and the one from the second dice. Now what about if we throw a two on the first dice and a one on the first dice? Well, two plus one is three. We're adding the two outcomes according to the question. And then maybe you'll be able to see how we fill out the rest of the table. We do three plus the one, that's four. Four plus the one is five. And going down, we've got the one on the first dice, the two on the second dice, going down and across, so one plus two is three. We've got a two on the first dice and a two on the second dice. You can see in this row here, two plus two is four, then five, then six, then one plus three is four, five, six, seven, and then one plus four is five, six, seven, eight. So these are all the possible combined outcomes when we add the outcomes from two different dice. What about the second one? Gary throws a coin and spins a spinner numbered two, four, and six. So we can see with the coin, we've got the possible outcomes for the coin, heads and tails. And then for the spinner numbered two, four, and six, we could get a two, a four, and a six. And we want to complete the sample space diagram to show the combined outcomes. So if we're in this square, for example, this part of the sample space diagram, if we look at the column, we've got a heads, and if we look at the row, we spun a two on the spinner. And now to combine them, you can't really add them together. You've got a letter and a number. So we could just write them together. So we could either write 2H or H2. That's just a way to kind of indicate what we've got on the coin and the spinner. So either H2 or 2H. Either way, it's showing that we've got a heads and a two. What about here? Well, if we look at the column, we've got a tails. If we look at the row, we've got a two on the spinner. So let's just put T2 or 2t. But let's be consistent. If we put the coin here first, then we need to put the spinner second. If we put the coin here first, we need to put the spinner here second for consistency. What about here? We've got a head on the coin and a four on the spinner, so that's going to be h4. And similarly, we've got a tail and a four, so that's tail four. And then here we've got a heads and a six, so that's heads six. And here we've got a tails and a six, so tails six. And that is the final completed sample space diagram. What we'll do in a subsequent video is look how we can use this sample space diagram to work out certain probabilities. For example, we could work out what's the probability when we throw two dice and add the outcomes together that we got at least a six as a combined total on the two dice. That's the kind of thing we'll be able to work out.